Now, budding spies are in for a treat today because the intelligence agency GCHQ has released a set of code-breaking puzzles for youngsters to solve. The seven challenges are designed to test and develop the same skills that real-life agents use and to encourage children from all backgrounds to consider a career in the intelligence services. Tim Moffat went to a school in London to see if the pupils there could crack the code. We're going to see who actually makes it through. Elm Green School in South London. The students' mission, should they choose to accept it, try and solve the GCHQ Christmas card puzzle. It's different to what we normally have to do in school. Yeah, but that's how you get the word free words. This is far right. We don't do much like code breaking, so it's something different. GCHQ is the UK's intelligence, security and cyber agency. Traditionally, each year it includes a brain teaser on the Christmas cards it sends out. But this Christmas, for the second year running, it's also set a festive, mind-bending challenge for school pupils. If two equals growth and six equals exist, then nine is what seven-letter word which describes what you'll be doing with your presence on Christmas Day. information that allows you to break the code. They're challenging, they're very challenging questions, but um, what I think they're doing is they're, they're helping promote resilience and perseverance. If the students are going down a particular route and making a mistake, they're not giving up. How are you finding it? We're finding it quite exciting actually. Yeah, it is really fun. Thinking outside the box and actually making your brain think a different way. I thought it would be quite maths orientated, but it's actually like quite a lot of code breaking and puzzling and stuff like that. So this question here, what is this actually encouraging students to do, do you think? Yeah, um, it's more about being spatially aware and the twist of that is that whenever you touch the key, the direction changes, so they need to actually do some reverse operation. How can I get from point A to point B? So, these puzzles have been set by an actual intelligence officer who works for GCHQ. Now, we can hear from him, but for obvious reasons, we can't show his face. So, he's going to appear in the form of a cartoon character called Colin. Hi, Tim. It's Colin here. So, uh, Colin, what impact do you think these puzzles will have? So, this year, the Christmas card has puzzles covering different skill sets including languages, engineering, analysis and code breaking. What qualities are you looking out for? So the qualities needed are ingenuity, analytical skills, perseverance and an inquiring mind. In a sense, solving the challenge replicates what we need to be able to do in GCHQ, but in a fun way. Along with MI5 and MI6, GCHQ says it wants to widen its recruitment net. Whilst job candidates still need to be British citizens, as of last month, they no longer need to have British parents. The agency also wants more neurodiverse candidates to apply, people with conditions such as autism, ADHD and dyslexia. GCHQ says different ways of thinking are key to keeping the UK safe. What do you make of these puzzles? Um, I think they're really good. Uh, many of our students wouldn't have heard of GCHQ prior to um, this challenge. And understanding that, in actual fact, they have the skill sets to be able to go into such areas is really good for them. Has this made you think about a career in that yeah. world? Definitely, yeah. I've always been into like problem solving, like critical thinking, or like what you got to do to solve things. Have made me like look at that side like in much more detail. It is making me more more interested in what this could lead to. Hundreds of schools will be taking part in this challenge today. Anyone initially bamboozled should take heart. In this classroom, what to many seemed mission impossible became mission accomplished. Tim Muffet, BBC News.